Hey guys, it's Mr. Bateman in the library, and today I want to give you some information that you can use to prepare for our trip to Hobart William Smith College's library next week, Wednesday, June 9th, from noon to 3. Our ultimate goal is to use resources that are exclusive to the library, and for us, that's going to mean the books on the shelves. Now, we might also get some access to um, magazine and journal articles electronically. We might get access to some of their ebooks, but those are mites. We're not sure if we're going to be able to. Some libraries are very permissive in terms of people coming in and just using uh, resources that students have access to, but some libraries require logins, kind of like we require Braves Link um, logins to access some of the resources at the Academy Library. So what we're going to do is go on the assumption that the only thing we are going to have access to next Wednesday is the library book collection. Uh, if we are able to access other things electronically, we'll just call that a bonus. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll share my screen. All right, the first thing we're going to want to do is see what the library has on their shelves. So to do that, we're going to hop online and visit HWS Library. I don't really know what the address is, but I don't need to because Google reminds me. So I'm just going to search for HWS Library. And it turns out it's the Warren Hunting Smith Library at Hobart and William Smith Colleges. So we're gonna drop in there. And this is their main page. And their main page actually includes a link right to their catalog. Um, you see that there is an option for books and articles. I'm gonna select books because again, that's what we're gonna focus on today. The next thing I need is a topic. And I decided to do my research on wolves, more specifically wolves in Yellowstone and wolves being reintroduced to Yellowstone uh, National Park recently. So I'm gonna go wolves and Yellowstone and see what comes back. The other thing to remember about library catalogs is every one that you use seems to work a little bit differently. Um, our catalog is different than um, the public library catalog downtown, which is different from FLCC's library catalog, which is different from the HWS library catalog. Uh, so I'm going to give you some information about how this particular catalog works. The first thing I see is that there are 30 results for that. Not too bad. Um, and that's why I used the term Yellowstone because I knew that was going to help me narrow it down to specifically what I'm looking for. And before I start looking through these results, I'm going to go over here on the left hand side and take a look at some of the filters that I had. Uh, the first one is under refine your search and that will be library owned. That will be things that the library actually has that we might be able to access as opposed to things that other libraries might have that HWS would be able to get a hold of. We're going to go with things that are just library owned. So I started with 30, click on library owned, and it is filtering out some of the things. Now I'm down to 27. Okay, not bad. Under content type, you see it's books or eBooks. I already got rid of articles because when I was at the front page, I just used a book search, which is what we're gonna be doing today. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna limit my results to things that are just in print on the shelves. Like I said, we may or may not, may not have access to some of the eBooks in uh, the library collection. So I'm going to assume that we are not, if we do, that's a bonus, but if we don't have access, we'll just have to limit ourselves to what's on the shelves. And you'll see even like this very first one, it is something that is available online. It's only available as an ebook. The full text is online, but that's probably going to be only to Hobart and William Smith students, faculty and staff. This next one down is available in print. How can I tell? Well, it says it's a book that's specifically available at Warren Hunting Smith Library. And then it gives us a call number. And this, believe it or not, is the call number for this book. Uh, college libraries use a different numbering system than 
high school and public libraries do. We use the Dewey Decimal System, we have forever. Uh, college libraries usually, usually use the Library of Congress system, which actually begins with letters. It starts with QL 785, uh, then it says point S14 2015. That is the entire call number. And that's what we're going to need to find that book while we're in the library. You'll also see that it's in the main collection. Well, what I want to do is I want to filter these 27 results to things that are only in the main collection. Don't show me anything that's available only online. Show me ones that I can actually find in print in the library. So I'm going to go over to my filters here on the left again. And I'm going to go down to this filter, which is called library location. So I'm going to click on that one and you see that I've got two options, things that are in the main collection or in reference and either of those would be okay. So I'm going to choose main collection. There are 10 things in the main collection. So I'll click on that. And now I have 10 results and you'll see that these are going to be books that are available physically in the library. Now, now I'm going to take a look at some of these now already. I am pretty excited about this one right here, Yellowstone's Wildlife in Transition. Like I said, my topic is wolves in Yellowstone. This seems to be a pretty good match. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and see what else I can learn about this particular book. Oops, I can't look at it. Why? Well, because it is an ebook that's available. Now that's only because I clicked on the title. All right. If I click on the preview, I will actually be able to see a little bit more about the book. Uh, there is a summary. There's the subjects that this book has. Um, it's going to help me make a decision on whether or not I want to find that book in the library. But you know what? I would like a little bit more information about it. So one of the things I like to do is use our friend Google Books to get previews of books, or at least see if previews are available. Oops, that's not Google Books. Let's go to, over to Google Books, see if this book, Yellowstone's Wildlife and Transition, is in there. Yes, it is, and there is a preview available. Excellent. So before I even get on campus, I can start taking a look at this book and see if it's something that's going to be worth my time in seeking out. I see there's the introductory material, there's the table of contents, listing of the, um, the chapters that are in here, all sorts of stuff. Um, I can also look, uh, do a search within this book specifically by just clicking up here where I have a search box and see what it says about wolves. Now, I may not actually be able to read those sections. I may or may not be able to, but I see this book, particular book seems to have a lot on wolves. So you know what? That's one that I want to get a copy of. So I'm going to go back over to Hobart William Smith, and I am going to make note of the call number. And there it is, QH104. Uh, specifically QH104.5Y44. Now this is all stuff that I would need to actually find the book in the library. I think I am probably just going to get a capture of this. Maybe I can grab some of this text here all the way down to the call number, maybe the summary too, why not? Copy that and maybe place it over in my researcher's reflection space, which I've already set up in Google Drive. The bottom line is when we walk in to Hobart and William Smith Library on Wednesday, we wanna have in our hands a list of books that we think might be useful for us and the call numbers for those. We'll save a lot of time if we show up with a list of titles in hand with a call number so that we can get right to the shelves, pull them off the shelves, bring them back to whatever work area we have, start reading through them, start taking notes, maybe get some photocopies or even better, get some digital scans of those. But we'll learn more about that once we actually get into the physical space. So I invite you to explore the collection at Warren Hunting Smith Library. Again, just Google it up, HWS Library. You'll get right to this page. Hit the Books tab. Start looking for uh, your terms that you have come up with for your research. Um, and hopefully, you'll find some things in the Hobart collection that will be useful um, as you continue the extended essay journey. So look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Until then, so long.